I think that's very nice. Yeah. So almost half a syringe, if you want to have a look. Yeah, you can notice that already. Yeah? How about a little bit more here? Can you take a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? Good? Yeah. You want to take a sip? I just did. Okay. I'm okay yeah. yeah. Thank you. So you guys can see my cannula over here. So this is where I'm going to lay. A little bit more of my filler. Just make sure that I go down as well to have the plane all opened up. How do you feel? Good? Feeling yeah. dizzy a little bit? A little bit. This area is very sensitive for everybody, not only for you. Okay, we'll yeah. take a break. Yeah. yeah. You want to have a sip? Yeah. You want me to lay you down or you are good? Um, are you down a little bit? I think I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna massage it a little bit here. Some alcohol when you spill on it might mm -hmm. help a little bit. Oh, that may be worse. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you down a little bit. Sure. Tell me when you are okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good? Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to show them around in the center while sure. she's taking a break? So, this is my room. This is my injection room here. <laughs> so, what do we have there? Is the this is reception. our yeah. front, our reception desk, our lovely lip couches, specially made. A nice TV screen here, some more waiting room. Walk down this hall. So this is going to be our body shaping room. So we'll be doing a lot of our cool sculpting, our skin tightening. Um, also our vaginal tightening will be done in this room as well. This is our skincare room. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't show you that right now because there is someone getting a treatment. Oh, and this one is our laser hair removal. And then also our silk peel, which we have there in the corner. Every room has its own unique little wallpaper on each wall, which is nice. Now we're back in we're Dr. Kamel's. How do you feel? Better. Can we do the other eye or do we yeah. want to have a break? I think we can. Yeah, we we can do? It. Okay. So I'm gonna just turn around. There you go. So I'm just gonna put it up again if you don't mind. Is that okay? Yeah. It's a small book here. So again, I'm gonna go inside with my camera here. Once I'm in the epidermis, I just push towards the two trough. Are you okay? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm dizzy. Okay, we'll oh, just... Okay. Lay back in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Maybe I can try to do it while you are laying down. Yep. But anyway, we are done with that sensitive area. I try to make it as quick as I can. Just wanna put a little bit in here and we'll be good to go. How do you feel? Passing out still? Mm, a little bit, a little dizzy. Okay. Do you want me just to wait? I yeah, one wait. minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So some of the other services that we provide, we are, we have all kind of fillers. We do under eye fillers, lips fillers, uh, cheek augmentation, mid facial augmentation, uh, threads, PRP, natural fillers, Sculptra. We do PRP for the uh, hair. Also, we do the O shot for the. Uh, uh, sexual uh, dysfunction. A uh, couple of other things that we do also is all type of laser that you think about, we have it over here. We have fractional laser, we have hair removal, we have pigmentation, we have very special protocols for that, all kind of peels we do it over here. Like it's a kind of a complete portfolio for all kind of uh, cosmetic and aesthetic service. We don't do any surgeries in here, like we try to accommodate as much services as we can but we don't do any surgery everything is invasive kind of uh, non-invasive uh, treatment so anything that's uh, required like a cut and stitch we try to uh, stay as far as we can away from them uh, we have Althera we have uh, uh, fire freezing we have Fraxal we have what else we have silk peel microderma abrasion how do you feel good good yeah, ready I'll be just a little bit and I will be done with the eyes. Just okay? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just when you it's get just that. Just a feeling. Dizzy yeah, I know. Feeling, yeah. Well, remember, like it's lots and lots of nerves over here, guys. So mm -hmm. that's why we use the cannula rather than the sharp needles to avoid any kind of bruising or any kind of. So that would be that. So we are done with this eye as well. So you say this can bruise? With this, no. No. Okay. That's why we, we use it. Yeah. Like it's a it's a kind of a newer technique. I don't want to say it's a new technique, but it's a newer one. Yeah. Uh, not everybody is comfortable with it because it takes like you need really good skills to get the uh, the cannula inside and then try to slide it and you know people say you know what it's way easier with the uh, with a sharp needle yeah but you will you will you'll bruise a lot with a sharp needle. Yeah. That looks really good. We'll take another picture. Yeah, it just really fills it up. Yeah, and that's only one syringe in here. Mm -hmm. Like you were lucky to go. Like I would love to add another one, but not today because yeah. I don't want you to pass out again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll take a, I'll take another pictures and we can show you guys that before and after right away. Just mm -hmm. gonna take a close up view. Chin down a little bit, please. Thank you. More, more, more. Come to me. Like if you want to come. Yeah, like this. Thank you. So, if you want to see, that's the before, yeah, and that's the after. You wow. see how this area has filled? Yeah. And this is only the beginning. Usually we correct up to 60%, not 100%, mm -hmm. and we leave about 40% for the fillers to expand a little bit and yeah. to uh, uh, 
blend with the uh, with the tissues. So I will show you a front facial burn slider. So. Yeah. yeah, crazy. You see That's this crazy. eye, how, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And we can, as I told you, I would love to add another syringe. Maybe next time when yeah. you come in, we'll add another one. Yeah. You would be uh, a little bit more ready for that. So yeah. now we'll cut on here. I will come back with our PRP and we'll start uh, doing the uh, vampire face lift. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just shoot us and we'll be able to answer while I'm working. So I'll see you in about five minutes. Plasma. And we have this uh, special needles that has five tips into it. This is called the vital injector. Uh, this is different because it helps to reduce the bruising by giving some vacuum. So if you can hear now, so when I push here, for example, it's gonna take the skin and then, sorry, one sec. Here we go. Let's try again. Just gonna get 15 minutes here. One second. So, get the skin a little bit up. And now we're injecting the plasma. How was that? It didn't feel anything. Oh, that's good. So I'm just gonna have, you might have some excess of plasma coming down. So I'm just gonna have this here for a moment. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you also one in sure. your hand. Okay. Just in case you feel that some drops coming down, just yeah. to go ahead and... So I programmed the depths to go just two millimeters because remember with the plasma, we need the plasma to stay inside the skin. We don't want to go really deep because this is where the plasma is gonna work. Yeah, if you feel that? Yeah, all that. <laughs> Ashley has some special occasion coming on, so I'm not gonna go close to the eye because usually this is where most of the people will bruise. So I'll try just to stay around the uh, uh, cheek area. We'll try to do in this area as well, like you know, on the forehead. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help with the pigmentation. How many treatments do you usually have to have with this? Well, it all depends to what, what you're looking for, to be honest with you. Like sometimes, some people, like most of you will come every six months. Yeah. Like think about it as uh, your multivitamins for your, for your, uh, for your skin. Mm -hmm. Like again, uh, vampire facelift is not going to solve a problem of anything by itself. So like if you are looking to fill your face or to have, you know, facelift or something like this, uh, vampire facelift is all the time a, a nice add-on to what you are doing. Uh, it's going to give you a nicer texture. Is gonna give you so again I'm I'm just trying to avoid going to the areas that really is it, okay yeah. not blood dripping <laughs> I'm, I'm not going deep, to be honest oh, with you. Okay. I don't want you to pass out or oh, anything. Okay. Usually we do it more aggressively. Oh. So basically I'm just doing two millimeters. Like sometimes we do four millimeters. Oh. And remember we, fro we froze you before yeah. we, uh, we start. And that's really, 
helpful as well. Like, I don't want to bruise you at all, this. that's what I'm trying to do, as superficial as I can. So as you can see here, if you want to, you see this is where all the needles went inside. I tried my best to be superficial, so I don't want to bruise her at all. That doesn't mean that the, the uh, treatment is not going to be effective, not at all, because we need the plasma to be around two millimeters down from the skin. We don't want that to be really deep. Otherwise, it's going to be absorbed and it's going to be just discarded by the skin, by sorry, by the body. So what we did is we did our best just to keep the plasma in the between the dermis and the epidermis, and this is where we need the plasma to work. So the first syringe is done. So I'm gonna add the second one here. And I all the time change the needle between the usage, just to make sure that the needle doesn't come wrong by anything. So that's a new deal here. Make sure it's secure. Some people are still doing the BRB with the conventional method, which is just injecting it by a insulin syringe. There is nothing wrong with that. It's this one. I feel that this one is more uh, effective and more professional. Uh, again, with the with the vacuum that this gives, it separates the skin from. Like, they do a good job separating the skin from the vessels. So basically, you would have less bruising for sure. So we are gonna just. That hurts. That was tender, yeah. How was that? Still tender? A little bit. It's just you can feel it more than the other side. Yeah, maybe the freezing starts where it Yeah, also. that's okay. It's it's okay. Well, it has lidocaine inside also. Like I mix it with some multivitamins and some lidocaine as well. Mm -hmm. So basically the, the lidocaine is going to help to uh, to freeze the area a little bit. Okay. Usually the redness is gonna just subsidize within about a couple of hours, I would say. down to one mil so I can do your forehead because usually forehead is very very thin so yeah. you don't need to go deep on that
Is that okay? Yeah. So that would be it. So the last little bit what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get rid of a mask. Yeah, if you want to take a picture, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Say, <laughs> and what's his name? Antonio Banderas in uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you watched the movie? Yeah. yeah. You know Antonio Banderas, right? Yeah. I, I just look uh, right. I just need to have a what they call it a, a burger. Uh, who's one of our viewers wants to know? Does it hurt? Uh, well, we free we try out like you know you have to know if there's no pain there's no gain. We mix this with lidocaine and we free, like usually we give you a cream that you have to apply like on hands or if you come early enough, we can apply it for you. So like out of 10, how do you, how do you rate your, uh, your pain today? Oh, literally maybe like four. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad, bad at all. all. She was very sensitive under the eye and that's very normal yeah. with all people actually. But I mean, like some people have different uh, kind of reaction, but uh, with the uh, with the BRB, I don't see any any kind of uh, like it was like very tolerable with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Okay, so this is the end of the PRB, <laughs> and uh, what's gonna happen is Ashley is gonna keep taking picture. I would say every day and yeah. post it, so she can explain how her skin feels after the uh, the treatment, what kind of things that she sees that improving, what.